Hey guys, Bobbery18 here, and welcome back to more Mario Kart 8. In the last part, I showed off Balloon Battle as well as some extra stuff, and in this part, I'll be showing off online, uh, just one player, um, and by myself online too. Um, I'm still not sure if I really want to do another online video with people, but if you happen to want to yourself, uh, you can by just going to friends, you can play with friends, none of people are playing Mario Kart 8, because actually they're probably all playing Super Mario Maker, because that just came out yesterday. Um, but I'll just be doing worldwide, and yeah, this is just by yourself. You can also do regional, which I think locks it to the country that you're in, or maybe it's the state, I'm not sure. Um, uh, you can also do tournaments, which is an, a thing sort of like the communities for Mario Kart 7, except it's, um, well, basically you can create, like, a tournament that's active for, like, a set amount of time with, with, a uh, with different rules, and then at the end you can see, like, uh, like a tournament who has, like, the most points while racing. Because, you know, I always said in the last part you get VR by racing online. Well, you sort of get, like, a separate VR just for a tournament you're in. But, uh, anyway, we're just going to go to Worldwide. And, yeah, I guess I only have about 5,000 VR, and I don't really care that much. Um, Oh, yeah, you can you can also do uh, the custom... Okay, I guess I can't go back now. That's kind of stupid, but I'm going to choose Yoshi again. I still have my Captain Belkin thing selected when I was showing it off last time. Um, yeah, you can also do, like, custom races and see... You like worldwide how many other people have picked those sep those starting conditions that you picked like for example if you only want it in like 100 cc instead of 150 you can choose that and whoever has just those set conditions that you also selected will um be set in that room but more often than not i find that it doesn't actually pick anyone so i usually just go with this uh, you can also turn the dlc courses on or off depending if you want to race people with them or not um so if you don't have them, then you, I guess that's, uh, if you don't have them, then I guess you can't really use them. So even if you play online and you don't have the DLC courses, you can still play online. Just, you won't, you'll play with people who also have the DLC turned off. But anyway, uh, the first track here, I guess we're doing is Animal Crossing because I don't know, it seemed like the best track on there. Like I said, I don't really like SNES Rainbow Road and I already forgot what the other course is and... Yeah, you'll always have a choice of also a random course, and that's random for the whole game, not just, like, the other three courses. So if you just want a chance to get another random course, then I guess you have that. And also, I, I guess this gives me a chance to show off the, um... I believe this is the summer version of Animal Crossing, because I think the spring one is, like, pink trees and stuff, like cherry blossom trees. And yeah, uh, uh, you can already see that this is way different than regular racing. Uh, for one, uh, people are so much better. And I'm already in 6th. I'm not gonna win? What are you talking about? And, yeah, items get a lot more... Ugh... Crazy and hectic. Yeah, it's, uh... It's not something I would recommend playing if you're rage-induced a lot. I don't know. But, uh, it, it's fun enough, like I said. If... Once I finished the, um... Once I finished, like, getting 3 stars in every cup when the, first, when the game first came out, this is pretty much the, re the rest that I did for the rest of the game, just play online. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Oh, good thing I had a mushroom, because that just failed horribly. I was trying to drift, I don't know what happened. Oh yeah, I didn't mention it either, but if you're behind someone, if you're like racing straight behind them for a long period of time, and you're like right behind them, you'll s so slowly and subtly build up like a, uh, like a wind draft sort of thing behind you or in front of you, and if you stay behind them for long enough, you'll get, like, a short little speed boost. I don't really know why that was introduced. It's kind of weird, and some people really hate it, but... I don't know, I guess it's kind of... It encourages you to be more, like... I don't know, hectic in your driving, not to just drive in one straight path, or someone might uh, get a drift off of you. But, yeah, that's, uh... That's that. Otherwise, uh, these are basically just the same courses as, as online. I don't really need to explain them that much. Crap. This is also, I guess, kind of a good way to get coins, but at the same time, you're also losing coins a lot, so... I don't know if it really is or not. And, oh yeah, something else I didn't mention about the Animal Crossing track that I kind of probably should have. If you, if someone or, if you or someone else knocks into a tree, it'll drop an apple, and if you get that apple, it acts like a mushroom, I'm pretty sure, where you get a speed boost. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I get him. Get a star. Is this the first time I got in a star too? Yeah, this will probably also give me a chance to show off some of the items that I didn't actually get to show off before, just because they don't. Items, good items like this don't really appear unless you're in a really low spot. So I'll actually probably get to show off some that I didn't get to show off before. Oh crap! Ninth. 
I might actually lose points from that. Yeah, if you're at a high enough VR and you go against people with, like, the same VR as you, then you'll lose points if you get too low of a... too low of a, uh, place. But then, then again, if you're racing with people, like, really high VR above you and you get, like, ahead of them, you'll get so much. It's... It's pretty cool, and I've sort of, like, like capped out at about 5,000 just because... I don't know. I'm not. I'm. There. There are a bunch of people that are better. That are better than me in this game, and it clearly shows. Uh, I guess random. I'll just show random. Why not? Not like it's gonna get picked. I have like a one in eleventh chance. Although, I wouldn't really mind either Royal Race A or High Rule Circuit. Wow, it actually got picked. And pipe Piranha, Piranha Plant. Um. Um. Uh, I was gonna say. Uh, Piranha Plant. Sewer. I don't. I don't remember the name. Uh, whatever this is called. <laughs> um, it's. It's like I said. It's a course that I really enjoy. So. I. I'm glad that we get to do this, and I'm glad that it was my truck that got picked. I guess uh, a reverse psychology works for this game. So that means I'm not going to win, right? Because I'm not going to win. Reverse psychology is on my side, is it? I don't know. Uh. Oh crap. Yeah. I. I. I, I don't know what else to say. It's it, This is online, and like I said, I, I think I'll show maybe one part racing with some other people. Maybe. I still haven't decided that. Um, if not, I'll just have another video of online, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that that's pretty much everything in Mario Kart 8. I, I don't mean to really wrap it up now. Like I said, I will show the credits at the end of the final part, which should be the next part. So, get hype for that and at the end of that or during that I'll actually give my final thoughts on the game in this let's play but I, I really don't have anything else to talk about these are courses that we went through before I don't know if I really mentioned that before but if you have a mushroom or three mushrooms whatever and you can like speed through that um that like wooden bush there I don't know it's weird also this is the never mind I was gonna show the middle path but people pushed me out of the way dumb people oh my god Bowser, you stole my... Oh, my God. Uh, third. Wow, this is probably the farthest I'm ever going to get. Yeah. Oh, I don't... I don't really know if I mentioned it in specific either, but... If you press X on either the gamepad or Pro Controller or whatever you're playing, I don't actually know what it is on the Wii Remote. If you press X, you can look behind you, and it actually gives you some interesting views on the... Yes, interesting views of you getting hit by a red shell, of course. What the heck? I got hit so... Oh my god. Sometimes this game can just be... God. I dropped from 3rd to 7th. God. Uh, but yeah, sometimes it can give you kind of interesting views on what's behind you. If you want to see how close people are behind you, it's actually a pretty, pretty nice feature. And I could have taken the middle there because the Piranha Plant was on the other side. But I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's not like it's a separate real path or anything. You just take... Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> you just take the other path that you didn't take before. Uh, get back here. Mushroom. And it gives you some interesting views on the track, like I said. So That's another cool thing. Just pointing out little details in this track that I didn't point out before. Oh my god, can I get hit by any more items? God. Especially that view right there. Am I in last? Was there only seven people in this race? I would not be surprised. <sighs> Well, at least I, can get, I at least I know I didn't get last. Okay, there was like people behind me, but they look really slow. Daisy is just like stalling there on the map. What the heck is that? Oh, maybe she dropped or something. Cause yeah, um, another thing with Mario Kart Online. Apparently, I've never really had the issue, but apparently some people have. That um, you start sometimes you can get a like a lot of communication errors. Um, I like I said, I really haven't experienced it, but apparently it's a thing that a lot of people complain about and yes GBA Rainbow Road of course or Ribbon Road of course I'm gonna pick this best track in the game uh huh <laughs> but uh yeah it's not really something I've experienced I, I I guess it's more if you're playing with like people from across the world which I guess is possible and wow there's another max in the in the room that's a coincidence or maybe it's not you can actually um join friends online races and I, I think he might actually be a friend of mine on Wii U I'm not positive but yeah you can actually uh, join friends online world races and you can get in the room with them so it's not playing specifically your friends it's playing with friends online which I like because again more layers of 
more layers of like uh, features in this game. Like it gives you more options. Like instead of just playing with friends or just playing online, you could play with friends online, and it's pretty cool. Sort of like that thing in Splatoon, except you don't really get to choose what team you're on when you play online, and you still don't. If you want to play with other people and be on a specific team, you you can't do it online. It's dumb. I mean, you can do it for ranked, but you can't do it for turf wars. Which is, uh, the main part of the game. Uh, why don't they fix it, Nintendo? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I don't know, I could probably gush about this track more. Oh yeah, there's a shortcut I guess I'll try and show. I'm already gonna get last, there's no use. Oh my god. <sighs> sometimes. Also, wow, Peach just sort of popped in, popped in there out of nowhere, and I guess there's another shortcut over there. Oh yeah, there is. What? Oh my god! Could I be... Oh yeah, there's a bullet bill item too. I don't know if I ever showed this, but basically it just propels you forward. I'm not even doing anything on the control stick right now. And it gives you a pretty good speed boost, although the disadvantage of where is where it actually uh, drops you off. I accidentally pressed, was holding X there instead of A. That was my bad. Yeah, the disadvantage is where it actually drops you off, because that can be kind of devastating depending on where you... Oh my god. It, you might get dropped off at like a corner or something, and... And you might not be able to turn fast enough, and I miss the item boxes totally. I'm just playing terribly, and I mean, part of it's me, part of it's the bullshit nature of everyone else in the game. Everyone is bullshit but me, of course. Um, you know what, I'm actually going to take the shortcut. Never mind. I will never try and do anything impressive again in my life, it's okay. And in my favorite track, too, of course. Oh, well, I got this. I can show off this shortcut I never really showed off before. Oh my god. <laughs> Good thing I have a golden mushroom. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I showed this off either. There's a golden mushroom that lets you use a mushroom, like, basically a, for, like, I think it's maybe, like, 15 seconds or so. You can use it as many times as you want in that span of time. Which is, uh, pretty cool. In, uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, though, it was actually Toad and Toad's F's, like, Toadette's, like, special item. But they made it, like, a readily available item in this game, so I guess... Or in this game, and I think it was a readily available item in, uh... A Mario Kart Wii too, and maybe I'm pretty sure seven as well. So, yeah, because they sort of got rid of the special items because I don't know why. <laughs> it was kind of a stupid opinion, a stupid thing in my opinion. But you know, like uh, I I would or at least I would have loved to see like a like a thing like with a giant Bowser shell like that in Double Dash. I don't know. Bring it back for the next Mario Kart Mario Kart Nine. Uh, special items, please, Nintendo. Yes. <laughs> anyway, um. It's been about 15 minutes, and we only did three... You know what, no, I'll do one more, just because that's, like, four tracks, and that's how much, like, a course or a, a cup usually is. Uh, I guess Music Park, because... You know, while I said Music Park isn't, like, remade at all, I still think it's a really good track. Like, I loved it in 7, and I... They didn't really change anything for this game, so I love it in this game, too. Um, so, I mean, I, I guess I still love it. It's just that they didn't remake it really at all, but... I'll still play it. It's it's one of my favorite courses, if only because I like it from 7. Yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to say. Oh yeah, you can also send messages, like, online. I don't really know if I showed that before, but yeah, you can do that. It's, uh, you, also, there's no really voice chat unless you're playing with friends and it's only in the lobby. But, uh, most people complain about not having voice chat in, like, any Nintendo online game, which they have in, like, the lobbies of Smash and Mario Kart. But most people complain about not having voice chat, especially in, like, Splatoon or something. But if you really care that much, use Skype. I wouldn't want to talk to random people online anyway. And I know that's, like, something that's a staple in most shooters, but I don't know why. That's just stupid. And also, to Toad's Turnpike got picked because I don't know why. Because apparently people hate uh, Music Park. That's exactly why. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really think it's a big deal that there's no voice chat. I don't really care. Why do people think it's such a big deal? I mean... I guess for communication, but if you really, if you're playing with friends or something, then talk on Skype. It's it's better than like talking through the gamepad anyway. Like what, what? I don't know. But uh, yeah, th about those, yeah, those those messages, they're all like preset, and I guess some of them are kind of really like, <laughs> I don't know, like weird or very very Nintendo-y, I guess, like very child friendly. I, I don't know. They're just uh. Most of the time, I usually forget about it. If my other, like, three races are not evident of that, I just forget that they're even there, because I don't really even use them. But, uh, 
Yeah, that's basically the online mode. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I'll I'll probably show it with uh, a few people with me in, in the next video. They'll probably commentate with me, like I said. I will probably just do like a few races like like together, I don't know. Oh yeah, if you're racing with friends, you can also choose what course you want to um you can choose what course you want to play, like, in the entire game. So uh, it's not just restricted to, like, a, a set, like, three m amount of courses plus random. And you can also choose random when you're playing with friends, too. There's an option for that. I just thought I'd specify that in case anyone wanted to know. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think that's all the speci specifics of online mode. Like I said, it's it's where most of the replayability of this game comes in, because once you get three stars on, like, every course, replaying, like, the cups really isn't that big of a deal, um, unless they make DLC, of course. But that's uh, another thing entirely. And even that, I guess that proves my point, because when they, when they even the second DLC pack, I didn't actually three-star the Bell Cup on 150cc or Mirror Mode until, like, maybe a week before I started actually making this Let's Play, just because I wanted to have it for this let's play and uh i guess 200 cc is also sort of a replayability thing but like i said 200 cc is really kind of bad maybe i should have shown that in a video but like i said i really really don't like it it's basically just you going really fast and having to actually use the break in mario kart which i really don't like at all you shouldn't have to break in a mario kart game and some people say oh it adds more strategy but i don't really see it but anyway uh, that's uh it's been about 18 minutes, so... Or actually, may, probably less, because I started my thing before I actually started actually recording. But it, it doesn't matter. That was like four, four tracks, about the standard amount of a cup. So, uh, yeah, in the next part of Mario Kart 8, I will actually be racing with some friends. And uh, they will be on this with me, guest commentating, I suppose. Because I guess I should show that off at least once. And, yeah, I don't, I don't really need to show off tournaments, really. It's basically just... Uh, like, communities for Mario Kart 7, I don't know, I explained it before, and I don't really think it's all that necessary, but anyway, so yeah, get hyped for other people with me in the next, uh, part, I, I don't know exactly who, I'll have to ask some people, but, uh, they will definitely be here, and we'll be racing, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then.